In this video, we're going to walk through the minimum requirements necessary to set up Phoenix Contact's new IP20 IO Link Master and load it into RS Logic's software environment. The first step is to configure the master and any connected IO Link slave devices. For this example, we've connected an IO Link enabled CBMC breaker. The configuration of the IO Link master is all done through its integrated web page. Once you have the browser open, Enter the unit's default address into the address bar, 192.168.254.254, but make sure your PC is set to an IP address in the network range. Once the web page has loaded, click on the Configuration tab, so you can configure the additional ports. By default, all ports are set to have IO Link communications enabled. This can be modified if needed by clicking the Edit button and selecting the appropriate port mode from the drop-down menu. Once finished, click Save to store your changes. Next, click on the Attached Devices tab. In this page, we're going to be able to load the IODD configurations files for the attached IO Link slave devices. The files are supplied by the manufacturer and contain all the configuration and process data mapping for the master to configure the device. To start uploading the files, you'll need to click the Upload File button. Through this web page, you can upload the XML and two image files that are all part of the IODD configuration files. Once the files are uploaded, click on the Summary to view a general overview of all connected devices. This information is pulled directly from the device and cross-referenced to the uploaded IODDS files. For more detailed configuration, simply click on the More button. In this window, you can view all parameters and if you need to modify a specific setting, click the Edit button. Once complete, you click the Save button for all settings to take effect. Once all the configurations are complete, move to the Configuration tab and select Ethernet slash IP. In this page, you can see that each channel by default will have 36 bytes of input and 32 bytes output data per IO link channel. This data will be available to the Ethernet IP master. The data can but does not have to be modified to more closely match the amount of data your IO link sensor supplies in its processed data channel. But note, if you change the channel sizes, you're also adjusting the module's total produced and consumed size to the Ethernet IP master. For example, and for simplification, we're leaving all the settings at default. The last step is to configure the device's final IP address. This will be an IP address in the range of your Ethernet IP master to access the process data. Once finished, you'll need to save changes and reboot for settings to take effect. The IO Link Master is now configured and can be added into your RS Logix 5000 project. Once you have your existing project open, simply right click on the Ethernet port under your controller configuration and select New Module. In the Select Modules Type window, uncheck the Modules Type Vendor filter and check Phoenix Contact Vendor Type. You'll see a list of available Phoenix Contact devices and can select the IOLINK EIP Master. If you've not already loaded the EDS file into RS Logix, you can download it from our website. In the new module window, enter a name for your station and enter the station's IP address. Once you're finished, click OK to close out the window and you can continue programming. Under Controller Tags, you can now see all the data available for the programmer. 
For additional programming assistance and example programs, please visit phoenixcontact.com slash EIP.